Okay, so in the video blogs we put up, you've seen Nancy working with the sheep and the chickens. And one of the structures that we have uh, for both the sheep and chickens is this sort of a dome-shaped uh, utility animal house. And we, we, we chose this one because it's, it's really easy to build and they're light, you can move them around. It actually, um, the design originally came from Steve Skelton uh, from Kentucky State University, Jackie Jacob and Tony Pescator at University of Kentucky. Um, you can find it on the internet, uh, making a hoop pen for pasture poultry. So it's basically a chicken tractor, but we use it for sheep or we can just use it for just about anything. And so we've got two of these right now, but we've got more sheep, which is really exciting. So we need to have more of uh, these structures so we can have our sheep in different pastures. And also, as we increase the number of chickens we get, we're going to need to build several more of these. So let's take a look at the other side. Okay, so from this side, you can see a little bit about how it's constructed. There's actually a cattle panel that creates the hoop. We've got hardware cloth over that to create a protective layer to make sure we don't get any um, small pests that can fit in between the, uh, I think it's four by six inch holes in the cattle panels. And of course we put plastic over it to um, keep it warm during the winter. So if you come inside, you can see that there's a wood frame around the bottom and then there's uh, wood cross pieces that hold the, the cattle panels up. Ah, hey, look at what you've got in there. So this one we customize for chickens. But in the one we use for our sheep is a little bit simpler because you don't really need to put anything inside it. So what we're going to do today is we're going to go through some of the major steps in building this. Um, I'm sure just about anybody could do it if you uh, download the download the plans from the uh, internet. And I guess the last piece is that as you're putting it together, um, you need to put a, a door frame on one side. And in this particular chicken tractor, we just used a regular screen door um, as a way of getting it out. The one we're building today is uh, going to be used by sheep first, so we're not going to put a door on it, which makes it a, a much quicker project. It takes a little bit longer to get the door all lined up. Okay, well, let's keep walking back to our construction site. Okay, so this is the beginning of the of the base of the of the chicken tractor. I've already done some of the work yesterday. What I did was I cut two by fours into 101 inch sections. And there's five of them. You need to take, you need five 101 inch two by fours. One of them, you rip down the middle and then you attach it to two of the other two by fours to make a, a L shaped um, two by four. This is because this is how we, um, we connect the base to the cattle panel is using this groove right here. And it's uh, very simple, just a few screws are enough to hold um, this, uh, what I call a rail against the other two by four. The first one we built it on the ground, but you spend a lot of time on your knees that way. So we decided to uh, splurge and buy a few um, <coughs> stands for little sawhorses so we can do it up in the air. Uh, spare our knees a little bit. Okay, and the reason that these are cut to 101 inches is it just turns out that the, um, the width of two cattle panels together comes out pretty close to 101 inches. These are the cattle panels over here. So these panels are 
are, um, I believe they're 16 feet long and 4 feet wide. Pretty standard. Okay, so in addition to the five 101 inch 2x4s for the base, we also need two 72 inch 2x4s for the, the vertical beam that holds up each end of the uh, cattle panel, each end of the hoop. And then, in addition to that, we need uh, angled pieces that go on the four corners to strengthen the base. And so they're 28 inches long, but cut at 45 degrees at each end. And I'll demonstrate that in a second. And I want to say too that doing this project is a lot faster with a cutoff saw, like this uh, Ryobi that I have, um, especially for the angled pieces. But it's even good just for the straight sections. It, it's a lot faster than using a skill saw, which is probably in my in my imagination it's a little bit more dangerous to use these. So. Um, I think it's faster and safer to use a cutoff saw if you have a choice. So to make the angle cuts, you just set it at 45 degrees in the direction you want to go. Unfortunately for this project, Really, none of the dimensions are that critical. You can be within about an um, eighth or an eighth of an inch, and it doesn't really affect the um, how the uh, how the pieces come together. So it makes it a lot easier and it's faster for building it that way. So I'm going to cut off the first corner, and I should say that what I've done is I've gone through, and although the saw will guarantee that I get my 45 degree angle, I've gone through and drawn the 45 degree line on this beam as you go down here at each place I want to cut. Because it sometimes it's easy to get confused when you do it and end up with the cuts in the wrong direction. But it's a lot easier just to lay it out. When putting this video together, we had a problem with the iPad running out of memory. We got that figured out. Next, you'll see us putting the base of the sheep shed together. and to secure them at the base. And I'll show you how we do that. There's a lot of different ways to do it. One way that works pretty well is just with baling wire. If you cut a piece of baling wire, you can, um, you can wrap it around a joint like this. bend the ends over because it's important because we'll be putting tarps over this and you don't want it to rip so that'll that'll hold very securely so if you just do a few of these joints over the top it'll hold it together and then the other thing that we're going to do is um, to secure it at the base I have um, it's like a kind of roofing screw and a driver for it Next, we secure the wire onto the base, and then we tie the two pieces of cattle panel together.
I'll make a second half of this series about building a chicken tractor sheep shed so you can see the rest of the process. Please like this video. Subscribe if you'd like to see more. Thank you very much for watching.